Think about this. How many apps have you installed in the last six months? I would be surprised if it's barely more than one or two. See, right now the market is completely different than let's say it was in 2010 or even 2013. Where things like iPhone or iPad were still a new thing for everyone. And people were actively studying these app stores. To see what apps are even out there. What games can they download? What tools can they use? And which apps are already used by most of their friends? But now, the market is over-exaggerated. Where we live in the attention economy. Where people are too lazy or overwhelmed to download yet another app. Where simply most of the users are using the same 3-5 to five apps every day. Therefore, many of the businesses are actively on those platforms. There are also websites, of course, but you wouldn't use it on a daily basis, especially from your phone, just because it's not comfortable or convenient enough. So here's the deal. Things like microSaaS or mini apps are getting more popular every day, where they don't offer you a separate product or app, but rather they leverage the existing apps or platforms that these people are using already. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I come up with my own app directly on Telegram. How does it even work and how I got my first users? So let's get into it. So what is Telegram and what are the Telegram mini apps and how can we use them? So basically Telegram is a messenger app just like WhatsApp and it has bots and now mini apps inside of their application. Basically you can interact with a bot on Telegram and from that bot you can launch a full screen application directly inside of Telegram without downloading new apps. So how does it work? Well, basically a Telegram mini app using a smart and optimized website that knows that it should act as a mini app that can obtain information about which user is using it, what is the username, his image, and so on. Besides that, unlike an average website, it also has the same ability as the native apps, meaning we can send push notifications to our users, use haptic feedback, change the theme in our app if user change to use dark mode, which will make our life easier and speed up some of our work. So to get started with my own app, I've decided to first use Figma and build a basic prototype of my app. And I also use Me Journey to generate images for my game. The app will be called Cryptoville. It'll be a game where user can collect coins with daily drops. With coins, the user can get a better house that will upgrade automatically depending on the user balance. Also, we'll have a leaderboard where users can see their place in the game and compete with others to get into the top player list. There'll be a couple of different types of drops. The first one is daily drop. A user will be able to collect it only once and it will renew every day. So let's create two of them where one can be collected easily, but for the second one, a user would have to complete a short mini game. Now that we have daily drops, let's add a second type, which is mission cards. Basically, mission cards are similar to daily drops as they are getting renewed every day, where the key difference is that the user can now collect these cards up to five times a day, where each other card will be higher amount of coins, but also higher timer between each time the user collects these cards. Let's also add the limited drop cards that will also have a limited supply and deadline that will add more competition in FOMO to our game. Where we can announce this card with a push notification to our users in the game. And then the players can participate in the race to be the first one to collect more coins. Okay, but what can you do with these coins? Except for wait for them to be potentially worth something. How about we add a store section where a user can get different boosts. Where one boost can get an extra percent to a daily drop amount. So now it is a full economy where users can choose to reinvest their coins to get even more. Of course we want to keep it related to our theme, so we want to make sure each time a user collects a card, he gets a land that'll be related to the theme of our game of the Crypto City. So now that we have a full prototype of our game, let's jump into the building. To get started, I've used Next.js as my framework, so I can easily use backend for my React application. There is a good SDK that we can use called TVA Dev or simply by calling the script and using the Telegram methods from the window object. Keep in mind that we can and should also use Telegram colors and theme settings for our designs. Once we have that, we want to authorize our user. For that, we can call the init function that'll pass user data, alongside with the hash that we can later check on our backend with the validation method. Okay, great, so now we have user data, so we want to store it in our DB. For that, I've used DigitalOcean Manage DB with MySQL installed there. And to manage the view, I've used Table Plus app for my computer. Now that we have authentication, let's also add onboarding for our users and only create the account once they finished it. 
Let's also add the system where users can invite other players and earn more coins for doing so. For that, we'll have a friends tab that will show all of the players that came through that user. To implement that, we can use a query param called start command that can be passed alongside to our app link and we can later easily find everyone who came through his link. I also want to spice our app with haptic feedback. For that, we can use the built-in function that is provided by Telegram. We we'll also use pop-ups from Telegram. For that, I would simply call the show pop-up, which will result in the pop-up that feels native to our users. So now our app is using Next.js that is using React that calls internal API that is using DB to store our data. This structure allows us to create different components and really make our app feel fast and snappy. Oh, and to connect our web app to Telegram, we can use Botfather and create a bot and send a link to our web app directly through this bot. But what about blockchain? We could use Tone, the open network, and later add a smart contract or create a coin where we would be able to distribute our coins to the players depending on their game balance. We can also add many more benefits as we go. An example of that could be the first 100 players to reach level 7 will get a prize. Or everyone who reaches to the level 5 will be able to join our private chat. Because the true value here is the community. Therefore, we'll also have a separate Telegram channel where we'll be able to post our updates and engage with our players. So far, we were able to get around 300 users that are already using our app. A lot of these players are already coming with our referral system. To get to those numbers, we used ads on other Telegram channels. Since I've also tested other platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, it seems like the best result will come from users that are using the same platform. So it is easier to attract people that are already on Telegram. And to monetize the project, of course, as I mentioned before, we can release our own coin and distribute it across the top players or smaller chunks, but for almost everyone. But besides that, we can of course use the power of the community and promote something else there and the revenue that it'll get from those ads can be splitted and shared between players, which will increase the interest between those players even more. So I want to inspire you to create your own projects and it doesn't matter if it's a mini app or a separate app or even a no code tool. The true path to online entrepreneurship is really to be open to new things, even if you don't understand them. And I want to say thank you for watching this video. And if you want to check out Cryptoville and get your coins, I'll leave the link in the description. Also, I'll leave all of the useful links under this video in case you'd like to try to develop something like this yourself. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay updated on the project and to see new and fun stuff that I'll build in the future. Thank you and see you in the next one.